The different hairstyles that you can create with fiber effects is really endless and for this character I wanted to uh, use a tight curl uh, type setup for the hair and so I thought we could take a look at how I went about doing this so I've got the uh, I went ahead and cut the uh, the head off just for this example but we could have the whole the whole character because I'm just gonna focus on the hair area now if we look at the uh, the geometry it's it's really light and I'm going to want more geometry to work with just for the hair but keep the um, the character itself uh, light so I'm just gonna copy this to layer 2 and I'm gonna freeze it so we get a lot more geometry and the other thing I'm going to do because I want to take advantage of the pattern that's created with the uh, geometry is I want to triple it so shift T so now I have a bunch of triangles and I'm going to take advantage of that triangle pattern so W for statistics I'm just going to select that hair cut delete paste so all that's left is the hair now instead of going into the strand modeler I'm just going to use strand maker click done I can go ahead and delete that. That was just uh, junk polys. Cut, paste to layer two, just kind of cleaning up there. And so now I have hair guides that are in the shape of triangles, which isn't quite a curl, but when we apply fiber effects, well, we'll take care of that. Uh, the other thing that I'm noticing is that because I cut her head off, I'm just gonna center uh, this object uh, so that uh, the head's not floating that high above. Not that that's a matter, not that that's a problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and save that and let's shoot it over to layout. Okay, so grab my camera, just kind of position. We'll get a good look at the, the head this way. Let's go to perspective view, and I'm just going to get it so that while we're working with uh, the fiber effects panel, we can see kind of what's going on. Okay, so that'll give us a, a good view right there, and our panel can fit here. So let's go ahead and add the fiber effects. So control F8, add pixel filter fiber filter double click and for the uh, layer two let's activate it and let's draw it you can see the triangle pattern that's going on there I'm gonna want a whole lot more than uh, uh, than just one fiber uh, per guide so let's do 40 the other thing that I can do is have more than one cluster so I'm just gonna say two clusters and then I'm gonna change the radius to 40 millimeters so that I can kinda uh, uh, spread that out over a larger area uh, each cluster okay uh, for kink I'm gonna set that to zero and for splay now I'm gonna use splay but I, I need to use this uh, carefully if I even if I go 10 it's too much now it gives a neat look but I'm actually gonna bring splay down to 2 just so I get a little bit it's gonna randomize a little bit it's gonna uh, puff it up a little bit which is good for stray I want zero uh, we'll go ahead and have some random length. That's worth playing with, though, because you can get some really nice effects that way. And for scale, I'm going to keep it at, at 100, though you could increase it or decrease it to get different looks. I'm going to go ahead and um, come over to Shadows, and I'm going to turn these down just a little bit. Let's try 30 and 30. We can always come back, or actually, let's just set them at 40, and if we want to, we'll come back and re reduce them. Okay, so uh, it looks like we're, we're pretty much set there. I'm going to go ahead and turn on Ray Trace Shadows just so we can get a good look, and let's do a render. Okay, so as you can see, I got a nice curl pattern uh, going on, tight curl pattern, and it was all generated from the guides that were based off of the triangles. If we, I'm just going to kind of zoom in so we can have a look. See the, the loop shape? Just because the guide is set at um, uh, just because the guide is very linear and and it was a, a perfect triangle doesn't mean that the hair has to be that way by having some fiber smooth on we're actually curling that shape uh, based on the guides so as you can see I was able to generate a, a very tight curl pattern on uh, on this character with very little work uh, taking advantage of the strand maker uh, that's one use of uh, of strand maker is to do this tight curl pattern just based off the triangles so just another example of one of the many different hairstyles that you can create using fiber effects in lightwave